Hello and welcome to A Book in Two Minutes. My name is Lindsay Milner and I'm a training and development consultant and I work mainly with non-profit organisations helping them to create an awesome workplace. While I've been doing that work I've read a ton of books, many, many books on self-development, business development, books on thinking and books on effective management. And I thought it might be interesting to share some of the insights that I've gained um, from reading those books with you and uh, recommend which books are worth you spending a bit of time on and which ones not to bother with. Uh, today's book is actually about organisations and team working. It is the five, yes I have turned it around today, The Five Dysfunctions of a Team and it's written by Patrick Lencioni. This book is kind of, it's structured as if it's um, a fable, a, a kind of story about a team that's not really working very well and they parachute in a, a new chief executive and she gets to work out all of the problems. And through telling this story illustrates the five dysfunctions. So it does make it quite readable because it is a, a story about... Okay, you need to not be listening to me while I'm talking. <laughs> Put it on mute. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting... <laughs> okay, somebody in the same room listening to me do this Facebook Live, that's, that's, that's challenging. Where was I? So it's quite readable because it's a story. It's actually described as a leadership fable. So the, the five dysfunctions that he talks about, um, he does, as well as telling the story, he then kind of puts towards the end um, a, a kind of actual structure of, you know, what the dysfunctions are that are illustrated in the story and how you can help to overcome them, uh, how you can kind of work towards solving some of these problems. So the five dysfunctions are uh, lack of trust, um, not dealing with conflict, so fear of conflict, um, and I can't remember them all now, let's have a look. Lack of commitment, so the, the team are not kind of committed to um, to the same aims and purposes of the organisation. Um, avoidance of accountability, so nobody wants to take responsibility for their actions and you know, show up and actually do what they've said they're going to do. And the final thing is in inattention to results. So nobody's really looking to see how that's working out for them. So, hello Andy, I'm Glad to see you online and not in the same room as me. Um, hi, Deborah. Thanks for joining me as well. Um, yes, yeah, so those are the five dysfunctions. Uh, let's see. Can I remember them again? Um, lack of trust, uh, fear of conflict. So nobody speaks up. So there's no open conversation. Uh, lack of commitment, um, avoidance of accountability and inattention to results. Uh, as with a lot of these books, the books are written about somebody's management methods and, of course, they're available for consulting. The, this particular organisation, the Table Group, um, is based in San Francisco, but I think they do have practitioners who are trained in these methods in this country. I did meet someone who said that she was actually working as a trainer for this kind of thing. So it's an interesting concept. Um, a lot of what he says gels with me personally. So if you're interested in improving the effectiveness of your team's working relationships, then yeah, this book is definitely worth a read and maybe even look out for a pr practitioner. So that's The Five Dysfunctions of a Team by Patrick Lancioni today's book in a bit more than two minutes and um, I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Leave your comments if you've come across this book or this author, let me know what you think, I'll be interested to see what you make of it and uh, if you haven't read it, do you think it might be worth a try, let me know what you think. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow 4pm on Facebook Live. Bye!
Okay, and now this won't turn off. 